Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our lovely little city build in City Skylines, getting ready for Cities Skylines 2. Now, last episode, we expanded our residential area quite significantly, added in this nice little commercial park slash zone with a few different community hubs for the people. Now, I've thought about this for a little bit, and I think what would be a good idea is getting some nice, like, sauna, sports hall, gym in here as well. So let's stick that in. I think it'll fit quite nicely in with the area. I'm not too sure about elder care and child care and that sort of thing. But uh, that'll be fine. And, uh, yeah, we don't want any of uh, that stuff in there. But a sports hall and gym, that'll go in really nicely with the football pitch just across the road. So you can go to that if you want. Um, and yeah, this area is filling in nicely. But today, we are going to be expanding our industry. We've got a bit of cash, but we'll need a little bit more. But we're going to start expanding our industry and expanding our options for export. Now, in terms of what we can do to export, there's not that many options right now. We, uh, we don't even have the cargo ferry terminal, so we can't use that. So we really just have to rely on the roads uh, for now. But we will get to the point where we want a nice export hub in here. And hopefully that can be rail when we've got the rail unlocked along that side of the river. So we're going to be focusing on our industry. But before we do that, we are going to be boosting up our beautiful land value in this region. By building a park around the centerpiece of this area, which is the factory. I mean, the whole area is named after the factory, right? So we are going to be building a park in this region, deleting all these houses, unfortunately. Sorry, guys, uh, about the houses. But yeah, we are going to be building that in there. So let's get that done straight away and boosting up our economy while we do so. We'll put it on fast so we get a bit more extra cash and we'll paint in this park area in here. So let's paint it in. It's going to be a nature reserve. We're going to call it like a historic park let's say, rather than a nature reserve where people can come. They can camp around the old <laughs> the old factory. I mean, we could make it into a city park is the only other option. But it's really not a city park. It's more a suburban park. So I'm not too sure about the city park vibe. I'm thinking more the nature reserve sort of buildings and we're going to only have a small nature reserve entrance unfortunately we're going to delete that rock when we build it but here we are we've unlocked a few different things let's go for the side gate we'll have it kind of at three quarters as well so you go there and we'll get another one around this side as well and let's uh make sure that we get this all the way around the edges let's get rid of the uh the snapping because doesn't help and let's get this around the edge this is going to block all the houses from building anyway doesn't need to be perfect just needs to block all these houses from building in here and block off this area so no fools can come and ruin our lovely park by building their lovely houses there <laughs> so instead of that we're going to destroy all their houses apparently that still has a zone but not anymore gone and uh, let's build this around the whole edge. And then we'll build a little path around the edge of the place as well, which will be really nice. And this should hopefully bring... Okay, apparently that hasn't blocked any of the zoning on there. Really? It's kind of strange. I mean, there's a fence in the way, bro. Let's get rid of that. Let's just get rid of the zoning the whole way around this place. It was a nice idea having the houses in the middle, but I think a park's going to do us so much more in the long run um, with everything that's going on. Let's get a park in here, shall we? I think that's a lot better. And I will see you when we've built our roads. So here we are. We've got Old Factory Monument Park, and I just thought that was a great idea. In fact, I want to kind of sneak... A little path through the middle of there if we can. That'd be glorious. 
unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to be possible without destroying the whole factory. Ooh. Let's put it on that instead. Let's get rid of all snapping. There we are. There's no undo button here, remember? There we are. Right alongside the old factory there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool little park that we've got going for us. So, unfortunately, you know, a lot of the buildings are like gazebos, uh, camping buildings. But I think it's fine. People can come here, enjoy themselves at the old historic sort of monument park, have a campfire around it. I know it sounds a bit silly. Uh, but, yeah, it's kind of a... can be like a haunted house tour or something as well, uh, as enjoying themselves in the middle of suburbia. Um, but yeah, I'm more kind of wanting these sorts of tent camping sites, lean-to shelters in here rather than anything else. Kind of like an adventure park more than anything. The hunting cabins, although it's not a, you know, a hunting park, I think that'll be fine. They'll look good uh, interspersed in here. So yeah, how much is that uh, entertainment? We've got 500 entertainment now, so we just need more visitors to come into the park. And that should hopefully help with our land value quite a bit. You can see it's already created a bubble. One weird thing, I don't understand why there's a big bubble of, of land value around here. There's not many trees, it's just a bit of a road, so if anyone knows why, then do let me know. It's got those two boxes on the road there. I don't know what they do, but they're, they are every now and then on the road, so slightly weird, but hopefully that land value is going to catapult up as well. So now we've got our beautiful little sports and commercial complex down here. We can see our land value, of course, is increasing quite significantly. And it will increase even more as the factory park keeps expanding. We just need a few more visitors. And then we can get a few more items in here. Factory Monument Park. And I think it just looks fantastic, doesn't it? Going around this old factory but I'm thinking, let's utilize this space and let's upgrade the land value around this region as well with a few more sports facilities. So I'm thinking if we get the little gravel track again. So let's go all the way to the end. There we are. <laughs> Quite a long way to go. And we're going to come off this road here because this road isn't really a through road. Not a lot of traffic on it. Uh, this road is, but it's not a huge through road. This is the main sort of road that follows us all the way around, uh, around here, all the way up and around to the industrial zone. So I kind of want to use, utilize this space in here for a few different things. So let's come off this way. Let's come round and let's do a nice little circular road in the back. Here. It doesn't look fantastic right now, but we are going for all those weird sort of shapes and sizes. I was thinking a nice little, uh, nice little baseball park in in here to fit the bill with a few different health buildings as well. So if we get a nice little baseball park in there, let's have a look at that. It's not fantastic. <laughs> That's where you need mods to to set that down a little bit. So. Yeah, let's just move that around for now out of city limits. Let's just put it over there. Let's try and sort that out slightly. So maybe we want to come just up and round here rather than anything else. So let's do that. Let's try that sort of road instead. And let's... I'm hoping it won't be so built up into the... Uh, 
into the side. And I think that looks a lot better. I know it's got that in there as well, which is a bit of a, uh, a crunch into the side of the mountain. But let's see if we can maybe smooth that off slightly. It's going to be hard to. Let's go for maximum intensity. Try and smooth that all out. It's still going to have a bit of a uh, bit of a dip, but hopefully something that's not quite as harsh as what was there previously. Smooth it all out. That's a bit better, isn't it? It's not fantastic. Oh, that looks fan oh, so much better. Not fantastic, but so much better. A nice little baseball park in the middle there. We'll get a couple of paths going past it in a second but then let's have a look at our sort of healthcare. what have we got in the community tab over here cryopreservatory and medical lab we don't want that i was hoping we could get like the community pool or the sauna or something like that uh, even the yoga garden would be perfect for in there but unfortunately we can't right now so what if we go instead for like a bit of a park complex and go for Bit of a bas basketball. We could go for a basketball down this side. Let's go for a bit of a basketball and a tennis court on this side as well. We've got a lot of tennis courts and basketball courts around here. And I think that's a nice little area for people to come and enjoy as well. We're missing a bit of power over in that region. Oh, okay. Let's just bump up the budget for now. I'm not really feeling getting some extra power resources right now. So let's just bump up the budget. Uh, and then let's also probably get a little bit of parking in here if we can. So let's get back across to here. Come back this way. Uh, where is the parking gone? No, it's in parks, isn't it? Uh, it's in here. Yeah, so nice little small car park down on this end there. And probably one just in there as well so hmm, that doesn't look great but i don't want to destroy any buildings so let's leave that for now and let's actually put the car park I'm thinking if we put a car park opposite one of these entrances now that will destroy buildings probably opposite the main entrance but no that's not going to look great is it so there's parking there big car park there let's just stick like a little car park in one of these sides here just it'll fit in nicely a bit nicer than uh fitting in around there so we've got a little car park let's connect this up with a couple of paths then now as well and let's go for the path we've been using this one get rid of all the uh all of those and let's come from the end or potentially around this way if you will do it for me let's go there that connects in nicely it would be nice if we could have got a, par uh, a path that way, but it doesn't like it. I think I think that's fine. A nice little extra community area there for people to come and enjoy, which is glorious. This suburbia is looking just fantastic right now. We have upgraded the, uh, the budget, so they should get their power very soon. Nice, good, fantastic. That's in there as well. So this suburbia old factory monument park is just looking... Glorious, isn't it? It's looking beautiful. A really nice little park uh, and area for us here. Uh, and I think the, the road routes are all okay. Now, this one is a bit of a wibbly-wobbly one. But for now, it's working okay. And this one's working all right as well. Down at the end of the motorway. In terms of our traffic up here, it's actually going quite nicely. Now, where did... Yeah, Farm Toll 1... Can we not get the uh, the farm policy in there? So in terms of our next milestone, we just need to get to 5,500 people. And then we will be at the point where we can put policies into these places. And then we can have the bicycle lanes. And we can upgrade all of these roads to be bicycle roads. And that will help out quite significantly with the traffic. A lot of people will be biking. I'll put the bicycle policy on as well. So we'll be able to sort that out uh, and castle farms is doing really well up here how are we looking in terms of upgrading it we need a few more workers we have no highly educated workers of course uh, but we've got 100 we've got 102 over 49 well educated obviously filling in the educated gap and the highly educated gap as well which is pretty nice 
Um, now, we could fill in this space as well. I don't believe uh, we've done anything in there. I don't think there's a problem with filling in this space at all either. So, maybe some extra commercial in there as well. And let's have a look at what we can do. I'm thinking about bringing the road off here. I don't think it'll be too disruptive. It only needs to be one little road like that. Nice little curved road in there. And I think, you know, we'll probably build that commercial. And then all of this can be more residential, which will be quite nice. And it'll just fill out this area nicely, won't it? It'll just end up filling it in very nicely. So let's get that filled in. First of all, though, let's uh, stick our paths back in here. So we want a path coming from this way across and this way across as well. Nice little T in the path and potentially one up this way just to fill in this gap. If we can not destroy a house, that'd be great. But unfortunately, we're going to have to destroy that long, thin house there. But anyway, doesn't matter. I'm sorry about your house, sir. But uh, let's fill this all in. Very nice indeed. So this should hopefully bring us up to 5,500 uh, if we've got enough demand, which we don't have a huge amount of demand right now, but we don't have no demand either. So let's get uh, this all in here. Let's get rid of that. There we are. Uh, and that's fantastic. Hopefully we're at 5,500 very soon, which will be great. Now, I think to maximize the usage of this park, it's probably worth sticking in a couple of car parks either side of these entrances. So we'll have to rejig the fences somewhat, but that's fine. Uh, it'll fit in there. So let's uh, rejig those fences. Let's get those properly sorted out. And let's delete these fences here. I know they look great, but uh, we'll go around the car parks rather than across the entrance to them because how are they going to get into the car park with that in there? We'll just go straight lines for these ones and we'll come and join up there. That's a nice little one. And we'll try and detail a little bit. We'll get some trees in the, dis different, uh, in the, in the gaps there so that's that one and this one as well let's come up to here it's gonna just go across the back oh nice we've just hit busy town very nice indeed that allows policies now fantastic tourism specialization oil industry sightseeing bus the trolley bus as well a lot of new policies and now we do have access to the bike roads. So, that is glorious. Down here, we can see the bike roads. Anything else? Quite a lot of different things. The pool, fish farm, medical lab, hospital, fire station. Yeah, lots of different little things that we can get into our city here as well. Including the bus station and a few bigger buildings as well. In fact, I'm not going to build that fence there because in real life they could probably just get out of the car and go straight onto the road and I think that that will be fine. And let's detail a little bit into here. So let's get we got any content creator things quite like these California palms, you know. I think they look great. So let's stick a couple in here around these car parks in there a couple of big ones alongside let's go for something else maybe a couple of these little bushes in there to really detail out this area same over here a couple of bushes nice and around this way thinking a little bush underneath this tree there we are and then what else have we got in here that's quite cool i do like these 
these are really nice little trees, aren't they? I love the color of them. So, quite happy to stick a couple of these in here. Just to detail out this area fully. What else do we have uh, to us? Pines, definitely not. Wild Hedge. Let's go with a few of those. And we can see, looking a lot better already. Um, let's have a look. What else have we got? We've got these little flame trees, which are quite cool. I do like them. So I like the colours, adding a few different colours into our car parks, around our car parks, really detailing it up, adding a bit of extra pizzazz to these regions, really. Just adding a bit of extra. Same thing goes on for this edge here as well. Got the California Young Palm over this way as well. That's quite a nice little palm. And I do believe this map is a tropical theme, so the palms definitely do fit in there, don't they? So let's add a few extra in here. I like those big bushes. I, I wonder what they're called. They would be quite good to uh, add in. Get a few of these extra ones in here. Costing us money, of course, to do this, but I don't think that's a bad thing at all. Getting a few extra trees in this region. Adding to the detailing around the different areas. What is this? A baobab tree? Yeah, we're not going to... Baobab tree. We're not going to add that one in. Let's go vegetation-wise. What have we got? We've got some low vegetation. I don't really want that. Let's go for high vegetation here. Adds a bit more extra detailing in there, doesn't it? So, a bit of there. Yeah, looks good, that. Looks good. I, I do really like what we've done here. A bit of vegetation in there. Nice. Good. And even... No, potentially not there. We'll go for one there, though. I mean, it doesn't look particularly tropical. That's the only thing. But apart from that, just add some next extra little details in here, doesn't it? And let's get it so it's not, like, completely rounded. There we are. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Not rounded. Fully different, uh, different shapes and sizes of the vegetation. Uh, let's get in here. There we are. It's a bit of a different color, but that's fine. Cool, and I think that looks really good now. Around the car park, you come in, got all this lovely detail around there. Very nice indeed. And I think our urban sort of suburbia is pretty much complete, honestly. I think we've got a really, really lovely suburban park here in Factory Foot. While we're at it, let's get the policies on here. City planning... Oh, we don't have the automated toll just yet. We need 8,000 population for that, though. But over in this region, in Factory Foot, let's have a look at the policies we can have. I'm thinking potentially recycling. So, reduce garbage accumulation. I know it's going to cost us a bit in taxes, but not a huge amount. Recreational use as well. Increases the police budget, but increases tax income and tourism. And reduces the crime rate as well, which is pretty good. Um, uh, potentially free Wi-Fi, but we don't have anything like that at the minute. Prefer parks, cost 100 per park and plaza, but 10% more visitors. I don't think that's worth it right yet, just especially when we're trying to make money going forward. Um, I'm not too bothered about the health. Let's go on encourage biking. And yeah, electric cars as well. Um, yeah, potentially not. I think we're fine without electric cars for now. So that's quite good. Encouraging the biking as well. So that should really encourage people to get cycling in this region. Especially when we upgrade all these roads into bike lane roads. So let's do that now then. Let's upgrade all these roads. We've been waiting for a while to do it. So let's get all these roads nicely upgraded. Hopefully it doesn't destroy too many houses. It shouldn't because they're about the same width. That house, unfortunately. The ones on the outside of the corners are going to get a bit of a bit of a battering. Uh, but that's fine. We're going to have to readjust all these paths as well eventually. You can see there. So although it's deleting a few houses, it's not doing too much damage to the size of the boxes. So that's good. And I do like the trees on the road as well. Really adds to the suburban atmosphere of this place. The nice suburban atmosphere. So let's get these all upgraded and I will see you in a second. So there we are. We have upgraded all the roads. 
all of them and reinstated all the paths. We're going to have to build the... Uh, fences again around the park but that's fine and we can see the car parks are being used very nicely which is great to see lots of people parking up and going into the park which is really really cool uh, indeed really nice um, and yeah our suburban uh, suburban area is completed factory foot is done our first area so we're going to have plenty of stuff to do from now on, namely expanding our in industry, which will expand castle farms next time. Uh, and then I have a nice little idea for some places where we can really expand our population and our commercial and all that sort of thing and really add something extra in to this glorious, lovely city. So we will see you there, guys. But thank you very much for watching. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out, and I will see you all again on the next video.